Hi, I'm Eleanor Jones with the Flowood Public Library, and our theme this week is watermelon. So today I'm going to read to you Peter Spit a Seed at Soup. It's written by Jackie French Collar, and it's illustrated by John Manders. Viking is the publisher. Mary Lou and I were born, and so were Pete and Sue next door. Over they came, and we were four, four bored kids on a boring porch watching a bug crawl across the floor. Just then we heard a fella yelling. He was selling watermelon. Melons, icy cold and sweet. Melons, what a perfect treat. Just the thing four kids could use to chase away their boring blues. We chomped and slurped and gulped and burped. Then Peter spit a seed at Sue, which hit her cheek and stuck like glue. Susie spit one back at Pete, which struck and stuck right on his seat. Pete spit two at Mary Lou. How could I help but join in too? Come on, I yelled to Mary Lou. You pepper Pete and I'll splatter Sue. Then seeds were flying everywhere, zipping, zinging through the air. Seeds were plastered to our clothes. Seeds were stuck between our toes. Seeds were tangled in our hair. Seeds got down our underwear. Off we ran across the yard, spitting fast and spitting hard. The laundry fluttered in the breeze as seeds buzzed through the air like bees. Soon our sheets had polka dots and dad's shorts poured in leopard spots. We could still hear that fella yelling, come and get your watermelon. He was in the village square. Seconds later, we were there, gobbling up a new supply. We slurped him in and let him fly. Off we swooped across the square, raining seeds down everywhere. Oops, one hit the traffic cop. We thought for sure he'd make us stop. But then he got an impish grin, grabbed a slice and plunged right in. A camp bus rumbled up and stopped, and out of the doors and windows popped sixty children shouting, Yum! Watermelon, give us some! Before we knew it, everyone was clamoring to join the fun. Mailmen, nannies, grocery clerks, barbers, butchers, soda jerks, teachers, preachers, hard hat guys, even dudes in suits and ties. Through the thick and thin of it, we spit and spit and spit and spit from a limo step, the mayor, who fixed us with a steely glare. Enough, she boomed. Just look around. What have you done to our poor town? It was a sight, I must confess, a spitty, spotty, dotty mess. We bowed our heads and took the plane. We swore we'd never spit again and vowed to clean it up. But then, a baker in his cart went by and with a twinkle in her eye. The mayor grabbed a whipped cream pie. Gotcha, she cried, and let it fly. I wiped the cream out of my eyes and looked her at her in great surprise. She laughed and picked up two more pies. High five, cried Pete. Yahoo, me too. We grabbed a pie and so did Sue. Then pies were flying everywhere, zipping, zinging through the air. I turned and grinned at Mary Lou. How could we help but join in too?